Hi everyone, it's Nick here from Notero. Today we are going to take a look at Notero Scribe. Notero Scribe is an AI powered feature that allows you to create notes very quickly. Before we take a look at the feature, we have to talk about the credit system and how Notero Scribe is built out. So let's go ahead and take and click on the settings icon and we will click on Notero subscription. So we'll start off every clinic with a balance of 300 credits so you, you can try or test Notero Scribe. And there are two ways to add additional credits. So you can do it manually by just clicking add credits. You'll top up whatever value or whatever amount of credits you want. And as long as there's a credit card on file, you can just click purchase and it will um, top up your balance. So that's one way. If you're using Scribe a lot and you don't want to have to worry about um, the balance ever going down to zero, you can just uh, manage it through auto load. So you'd say when the balance drops below 500, in this case, I want you to add a thousand more credits. So that's also a way that you can ensure that you'll always have Notero Scribe available for you. So let's close this off and take a look at how this feature works. So there's a number of ways you can scribe. We're going to take a look at it from the calendar and I'll show you show you how you can do it also from the note. So your typical workflow, so we have Dr. Mira Jones' calendar up here as an example and Pat Holmes comes in. So this could be one typical workflow. So Pat Holmes comes in, you uh, mark them as arrived, you can add your invoice and now you can also add a note. So when I'm adding a note, I have still the same features. I can duplicate the note or I can take one of my note templates. We're going to take a note template because I do, I do want to scri scribe. I mean, you can still scribe from a duplicated note, but I just want a fresh note. So we'll just take a daily clinical note and you'll notice that it's in draft form. And now I have this little button that allows me to scribe. So I'll click on scribe. And you have this recorder coming up and you can see my voice it's picking up my voice uh, it shows my balance and the um, roughly the limit I can scribe based on my credit balance um, so it's pretty simple all you have to do is click the button whether you're on a desktop or whether you're on a mobile device it will uh, use the device's microphone so I will click the button you get a countdown and then you can start recording so whatever the conversation is, so you can re start recording your note. Um, the other uh, interesting feature you have here, if you were doing um, a conversation such as an interview style for someone maybe for their initial assessment or their first visit, it will separate the two voices and it will still assemble into a note. So as you're talking, you can see that it's, re it's um, giving you a count of how long you've been talking. So whatever uh, the content of the note could be, it could be very quick or it could be very lengthy. Um, and then once you're done, um, you could either just upload it directly or you can pause it. I'm just gonna pause it for a minute here because um, there are other features I just wanna show you. So I could restart this. So if I made a mistake, I can click restart and it says yes restart or no keep recording. So again, maybe I wanna keep recording. Um, if I see yes restart, it will basically delete anything that I've recorded here. So you have that feature here. Um, I can close it, the window here, and again, so maybe you want to close it and keep the recording or you don't want to uh, keep the recording. Or I can, um, or after I'm done this and I'm satisfied with this, I just have to hit upload. And so now it's going to um, send um, the information to be scribed. And you can see that it's processing, so under the daily clinical note, um, it's processing. So in terms of the checkout or the, the workflow, you would you would be basically done and then you can move on to uh, your next appointment of that day. So the note is, so the idea is that you can quickly uh, create a note in your typical workflow and uh, not wait until the end of the day or possibly to the, you know, uh, the next day or the end of the week to do all your notes. So the idea is that you would do it in uh, your, the workflow as people are coming in, as they, you're checking them out and you're waiting for your, um, your next client or patient to arrive. So once that's done, you're basically done that portion of it. And then the idea is that you'd go to your dashboard. And so if you have done this in a, a sort of a linear flow, you can come to a panel here with your pen and scribe. So at the end of the day, you'd have all these pen and scribes. If uh, I click review all, you'll see I have very many pen and scribes. And, um, 
So um, I can go through each of my scribes. So I have 13 here and you can then push this into a note and you determine the section of where you want. So in this note, again, the note template that I'm using, um, depends on how you use this. We're going to remember the section that you're pushing into. So for example, here's a primary complaint. So this is how a scribe would be returned to you. Um, so you're just, you're talking freely. It's going to remove all the ums and ahs out of um, your speech. And it's going to return a scribe looking like this. And you have to determine based on your note template where you want to add this information to the note. So in this case, it's going to add it to the subjective section. Or I can just click the doc, drop down and say, do not add at all. So you have a choice of where you want to add it. Again, we're going to remember these selections so the next time you do use it, um, you don't have to always click these drop downs. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can modify this. So if it comes back and you didn't quite like the way it was said, or you don't want um, uh, to use any of the content or part of the content, you can delete some of the content if you wanted to and remove it. And then simply what you would do is after you've reviewed it, you can add it to the note or if you're satisfied, you can add and finalize. And so it becomes very quick. So imagine, again, that workflow, you're on the calendar, you hit scribe, and then you move on to the, your next client or your patient, and then you continue that throughout the day, come to the end of the day, and then you can review all your scribes and then push it into the note, um, add and finalize. Or you can skip this all together. So uh, skip this uh, particular scribe. So that's one way you can do is review all. I can see them. So if I click on this, you can see these are, these are from um, a much later date. Um, and then, as I said, you can, I mean, as your scribes are being queued up, you can push them into a note or you can do it individually if you wanted to. So I can just click on this individually if I want to see this. There is nothing in this scribe uh, to push in here. Um, or I can click on the three dot menu as an example. I can again review the scribe or view the note. So if I wanted to see it more in reference to the note of what I'm pushing it into or adding it into the note, I can hit view note. And so when I go to the view note page, you'll notice that here are my scribes at the top of the page. I, um, I can again click on it and again that same um, that same slide out is appears here and then you have more of a context of where you're adding that um, if you're unsure. So you can also do it from the, the notes perspective. And when, since we're looking at the notes perspective, um, actually I'll go back to the calendar and uh, show you an, another workflow that you can do. So again, uh, from Pat Holmes' perspective, you can see that uh, the scribe is here. Um, you can also access it here from the, the calendar as well, and you can also push it to the notes. So there's multiple ways you can do this, whatever uh, is suitable for your workflow. So if I click on Larry Bird as an example, and I go through the same process, so I'll add a note, I'll do the daily clinical note as my template, and uh, if I start to scribe, I can scribe from here, or I again, I may want to scribe with the note, um, uh, the note template um, visible so I can see what exactly you know the fields that I'm going to be pushing it into. It doesn't have to be the subsection so you can create your own template as long as it's a, a text field um, we can push it into or we can add it to that that section and so you can scribe directly from the note um, so I can click the scribe button and then I also get that recorder. So there's multiple ways you can use uh, this tool uh, and it's very quick and it's efficient and it will return you know, whatever you've said, and it'll return it into uh, a note form. So that's how the scribe would work. Um, and it's, it's, as I said, it's a, it really is a time saver. Um, and the information that gets returned to you is um, very accurate. And as I said, you can modify the information. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you do have any questions or if you're unsure of of how this works, uh, please feel free to uh, reach out to us. Thank you again.